plenty more where that came from. Also, uh, if you wouldn't mind, I'd like to see Dr. Dunlop, ASAP. I'm sure he'd like to check that all my symptoms of paranoia are gone for good. Leave us. Are you sure? Yes, I was an idiot to think my mum might actually be someone I'd want to bother with. Look up to you even. When I put that on the report, I just... I didn't think it through. What? Like you didn't think through shagging my dad? Did you ever think to find him? To tell him about me? I had a reputation to keep. It wasn't easy being a woman in the army. Oh. You're breaking my heart. I'm not proud of it. Didn't stop you though, did it? Did you ever for one second stop to think about me? About what I was doing, about my life? Of course I did. No. I expect you just closed it off. Like the hard faced bitch you are. I never forgot you. And I can prove it. social services so that I'd always remember you my beautiful baby so perfect why do you think that's it you show me some stupid tattoo and say sorry and it's all fine I'm trying Stella yeah Jolies. What do those old bints want with towels? I don't know. Baby's getting married, isn't he? Perhaps they want to use them to make something for the wedding. Like what? Whatever. Decorations, maybe? You're a lying bitch, Tina. I swear. I don't know what they want them for, all right? Back to your work, Buxton. Tina or Kim, will you get a move on? Sorted. Can I come to the wedding blessing? Done and dusted, mate. Your name's only out in the governor's office. You might have to serve a few drinks, though. And you're both sure about what you've got to do? Of course. All set. Stupid can you get? She deserved it. You know what lies she told? I don't need to. But congratulations, Stella. Just got yourself shipped back to Bromfield, miles away from your mother. Don't call her that. I don't want anything to do with her anymore. Even if she tried to make it up to you? As if. She's not here to say goodbye, is she? I haven't left the building yet. Well, next step, you can sign up for some classes. We've got English, computers. Oh, English should be good. I should learn to talk proper if I want to get a job when I get out of here, eh? Well, yes. Grammar's right and important and that. Yeah. Well, um, I've been keeping off the gear and staying away from them dealers, like you said. Oh, that's good. Um, thing is, sir... You don't need to call me that. The number one says we can be called by first names now, so uh, it's Donny, yeah? Donny. Um, we, you've been my kid. That's what I wanted to say. Without you, I'd have just been a right mess. Well, 
It's you that's got your life back on track, Jimmy. Yeah, but it's because of you I wanted to. Be like I'd be taking advantage. Can't be taking advantage if I want it at all, can it? Mental cases haven't had an effect on you. There you go, darling. Oh! <laughs> oh, well done. Should I have been dreaming of a spot of chin? What if I told you I had a plan to get more in? A whole lot more. Thank you. Thanks. I don't think we can wait any longer. I'm not waiting for anything. Let's go then. Stella, don't let us stop you from getting on with things. Don't worry about it. I won't. I'm not giving that bitch another chance to ruin my life. to accept gifts, but, well, yeah. Oh, you didn't have to. Yeah, that's all right. It's no big deal. I've got it on my break. Well, aren't you going to see what it is, then? Ah. Oh. Just don't go get an old lardy da on me, all right? No. I might let you lend it. I reckon you could do a bit and all. Cheek. <laughs> Look, um, if there's anything else you want, just ask, yeah? It's the Christmas hamper scheme, but on a much bigger scale. I mean, imagine, instead of satsumas, we'll have grapefruits and vodka mangoes. Oh, darling, come on. Think big. I mean, imagine how much booze you can pump into a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> and this is no one-deal thing, either. I mean, if this healthy eating malarkey catches on, we will have a limitless supply day in and day out. Yes, but persuading the powers that be, <laughs> no easy task. I trust you still have Dr. Dunlop's dictaphone well hidden. Doctor's free to see you now. I trust your little break agrees with you. Oh, yes, Doctor. In fact, I've come back twice the woman I was before, and it's all thanks to you. I did what you asked to ship you out to that plush clinic. But I'm still missing my dictaphone. Dictaphone? What dictaphone? Don't bother taking up poker. Oh, the dictaphone that might turn up on Miss Masterton's desk. What do you want now? Oh, no. No, you got me all wrong. 
I have simply had the best idea for improving the health and general well-being 